What's up guys? Today on this episode of Dirt Genix Garage, we're going to be taking these fusible links and turning them into a nice fuse box. It's going to be a lot cleaner and we're going to be replacing a couple of the ones that I found that were broken. Here on the last, uh, between the last episode and this one, we went ahead and changed out our positive cable. I did find some corrosion in it and I put a new starter on it. And the process of putting everything back together, I started tidying up this area and found a couple of these fusible links that were broken. So instead of replacing them, I'm going to go ahead and just put in a fuse box so we won't have any more issues. Alright, let's get to work.
this is all done, you get to see the finished product finally. Here's what we look like after everything's been done. I've still got to come in here and wrap this and this with our plastic loom. But it turned out really good. On all these joints in here, I did solder every single one. And if you plan on doing the same, make sure your soldering gun is strong enough to get those wires hot. It took a while on the three wire to get it heated up enough so it would actually melt the solder. But here's what we're left with. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And next time we're going to be tackling this big fuse block here. Goes directly into the firewall, connects to the fuse block under the dash. You see it's all nasty. I'm going to be cleaning this out. And we got some more grounds here that I got to solder and rewrap. And I'm going to take this piece off right here, clean it, put it back on, paint it, and call it good. So that's going to do it for this episode. If you liked it, maybe you learned something, consider subscribing, share it, throw a thumbs up in there. And if you want to get in touch with me, I'm at Dirt Genix Garage on Instagram. Take care. We'll see you next time.